I get up, I get on the phone. I said, what's up? He said, hey, nigga, listen to this. You know, he's trying to play some music that he's playing in his car. Yeah. And I can hear it. I hear my name. My man I can really hear it and yeah. feel it. Yeah. He said, don't worry about a nigga. I'm on the slab on my way to you. He said, I just left the studio doing this song. Wow. We walked out. We're on my way to you. So he came, he and uh, Leroy. Yeah. They drove all the way down to Dallas just to let me hear this song. We went to my apartment. They met me in my apartment. We played that song probably 80 times. Wow. They slept on the floor and on the couch and got up the very next day and went back to Houston. All he came here for to show you was to song. let me hear that song. Stuff like that got me through it. Come Did on, man. Did you cry when the first time you hear it? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. I can so, imagine. Yeah, it was a trip. The, what he said was so dope. He, it, the way he said it, it was so real. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Came back to Dallas. It was uh, my little boy's birthday was in, was in October. Okay. So I celebrated that five-year birthday with him. And, you know, two months later, December the uh, 5th, that's what that's happened. That's when that happened. Yeah. It was, was with, he was with his mother or something? Bro, he was at he was at his at his mom's house. Okay. And which was his grandparents' house. Yeah. You know, so it was, I don't know if, a lot of people don't know this, but four children died. Okay, four, four children died. Four, four, four babies, the oldest so one being eight. They were his probably cousins. cousins and those stuff? were his cousins, yes. Did, those were his did cousins. Did they ever find out what happened? Yeah, they, uh, it was electrical. See, the, the father was a um, con contractor. Okay. A, a damn good one. A good one. And he had added on to, to the, the house. house. Yeah. In the electrical like we room. added room. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and they had been there for a long time. Yeah. You know, you know, when it was all on the news and everything, they were trying to blame it on Christmas lights. And, and all kind and, of other yeah, stuff. Yeah, but it, it ended up being faulty wiring. Faulty wiring. So the adults yeah. weren't there? Was there any adults yeah. in the house? Yeah, but at the other part of the house. And where, where, where this, how this house was, it was like, you know how it is when you add on to your house. It's, you come out the back door and boom, you're in another room. Another room. And they had built an upstairs part. So they in that other part of the room upstairs. Wow. And then when the fire broke out in that section of the house, this probably this side of the house don't even know it's on fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying no, to no, play. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm but trying, trying to play to it in my mind. Yeah, yeah, mind. yeah, so, you know, once I got the call, it was already over. Yeah, it was over. You know, I just you sat down from work when I got that phone call. Wow. And it was a, probably about a 10-minute drive. I drove there and... Yeah, it was it was fun. It was the mom there at a the time when it happened? Yeah, but uh all I remember them telling me was that the mom's dad was was trying to get him. He was trying to get to him. He he got hurt. Trying to get trying, trying to get to, get to him. him. Yeah, the flames prevented him from reaching him. So yeah, yeah he he you know, he had scaled the uh you know, some outside. Yeah, trying, trying to, to get, get to, to him. him. Yeah. Which yeah. is which is quite natural. That yeah. that's what you would do. Me it's and, nothing it's nothing like seeing Four small cats. No, cases, no, bro. ain't nobody trying Ooh, to see it. We're changing bro. for life. It so. changed, and I know that had to hit you. And how did how, how did, did you it how did you him? Uh, how did it affect he said too? He, the father? Because if he was trying to get, it's different. Like you weren't there, but this person, him, was there trying to get to the kids. And, and let me let me explain something to you about this guy. This guy, it's kind of like same situation with me and my wife. There was an age difference between he and his wife. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So he was an older man. But he was still working. Yeah. When I say older, this was like a seventy-year-old man yeah, still okay. working. You know, full gray beard and everything, just cool. You know, just a cool man, and he probably just couldn't get there. Couldn't I'm get pretty there. sure it affected right. him. Oh yeah. Oh, I, know. I, yeah, I never talked to him. I never talked yeah. to him about yeah, that. that that's a good question. Yeah. yeah. That's mentally, a damn good question. Because yeah. to, when you're there and you're trying to help somebody, especially with kids. Yes. You know yes. that that that'd have to affect that, you. That's gonna oh, affect yeah. you. I, and you know, back then nobody was talking about mental health. No, they wasn't. Nobody was talking about mental but health. But they were going thing. through it. Oh yeah. Especially for a man, you know, men supposed to be tough. Tough. Like, yeah. Yeah. Supposed yeah. To be, yeah. You know, we tough. kids. Yeah. I'm in my twenties. How did you? How did you move forward? Well. A lot of stuff. I mean, family. You know, I can remember leaving that scene. Me and the mother, we went over to my parents' house. I called Chad, told him, because he knew him. You know, he knew my whole family, my yeah. mom, everybody. And he, I, I can remember him crying like a baby. Wow. It was, oh. And so, fast forward, you know, funeral's over. You know, we're trying to live our life. And I can remember being on Greenville Avenue 
at Good Eats. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this is the story I tell you. My beeper go off. I'm eating, and the beeper go off. And I see it's Chad. I said, I'll call him later. And he beat me again, 911. Yeah, we used to do that. You know, 911 said, call me right now. That's right. So I, I get up. I get on the phone. I said, what's up? He said, hey, nigga, listen to this. You know, he's trying to play some music that he's playing in his car. Yeah. And I can hear it. I hear my name. But I couldn't really hear it. Yeah, it. Yeah. He said, don't worry about it, nigga. I'm on the slab on my way to you. He said, I just left the studio doing this song. Wow. We walked out. We on my way to you. So he came, he and uh, Leroy. Yeah. They drove all the way down to Dallas just to let me hear this song. We went to my apartment. They met me in my apartment. We played that song probably 80 times. Wow. They slept on the floor and on the couch and got up the very next day and went back to history. All he came here for to show you was to song. let me hear that song. Stuff like that got me through it. Come Did on, man. Did you cry when the first time you hear it? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. I can He's imagine. Some, yeah, it was a trip. The, what he said was so dope. It, it, the way he said it, it was so real. And let me tell you what kind of vision it is. Leaving the studio, in the car, on the phone, first thing out of his mouth, this the first song on the album. That's how it go. And the album was nowhere near to being completed. He said, this will be the first song on the album. And then you're gone. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.